Bailey wants a, a beach flower party. So kind of like a luau. She's just all into the warm island weather and the flowers. She basically she just wants all her friends to wear those little flower lays. So that's what kind of party she wants. So I'm going to make some gum paste flowers, which I've never done. What I'm doing right now is just taking a little piece of this gum paste, getting some of the stickiness out of it with this uh, powdered sugar. And, uh, I'm going to tint it pink. So uh, what I got here is some red food coloring. And I'm going to start to make a mess. So I'm just going to tint this a little. Touch her. Ah, too much. A little too much. So I got some red food coloring here, and I'm just going to work it in. Try not to make a huge mess. Alright, got some pink. That should be enough to make a couple of a couple of hibiscus, I guess. Take my gum paste. This is base green here. Break off enough. That's about enough for a leaf. So I got some powdered sugar just down here. I don't even know if this is correct. Maybe, maybe you're supposed to use shortening. I don't know, cornstarch. But I'm using powdered sugar because uh, when I when I paint them at the end, uh, this seems to just disappear. It's about thin enough to work with. So then I'm just going to hand cut these. I'm going to hand cut this shape out. And uh, hibiscus leaves are broad, serrated edges. All right. Got the basic leaf shape cut out. Basic leaf shape. All this powdered sugar will be gone by the end. So then I'm going to start cutting the serrations. And they're basically just notches. Buenos notches. So I'll show you the rough. That's the rough leaf right there. Very rough. Alright, so now I got that. So I'm going to give it a little rolly roll. And this kind of just softens the edges. I'm going to take this leaf and, and uh, give it a fold in this crease right here. Just to kind of give it a little pinch. Just to give it some definition. You can see that's starting to take shape like a leaf. Draped it over my thing here. Take my little brush and I got some, some green. I'm going to brush it right into those cracks. And I didn't really feel like breaking out my airbrush, so I'm doing it like this. I don't know what the hell I'm doing anyway, so. So I take some of that green, brush it in here. This is what one of the hibiscus leaves look like. I did this one earlier today as an experiment. It turned out pretty good. I mean, you know, it's totally ghetto. I don't have any of the right tools, so, you know, I'm propping it up on rolled up newspaper. But that's pretty much, you know, got some plumeria petals here. You know, they go, they go together like this. You know, you get the idea. Hold on, let's look like this. Just a little yellow fade to white with a little touch of orange on the tip. So that the center of it, you know, goes like that. Alright, here's some of the components uh, for the cake. Let's see, I made some bamboo letters. Uh, there's all the petals for the plumeria. There's the stamens for this. Let's go 
what's going to be a really big hibiscus. And then here's a bunch of leaves. All right, I'm going to make some marshmallow fondant. And for that, you need uh, shortening, uh, powdered sugar, and marshmallows. Simple. It's really easy. Then you just grease a bowl, microwave safe bowl. Then just plop in your marshmallows. Use a little minis. It's going to stir a little better. A lot of air in these bad boys. Looks like Bailey was getting at these. So then, yeah, about 30, every 30 seconds, take it out and stir it up. Give that a shot. Just give it a little toss. Another 30 seconds. We'll give it 40 seconds. This is where I edit. Fade out, fade in, and 30 ought to do it. Hey, escapee. Oh, that's nice stuff, man. Fluff or nutter. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. There you go. Let's start pouring powdered sugar in there. Start mixing. And you're going to knead the crap out of this, so, you know. Some lumps. I mean, knead the crap out of it. Okay, so, got a mound of sugar here, spread it around, take me some of this, shortening, get the hands all lubed up, call the wife in, jokes, jokes, I make jokes, I don't know if you can see that in there. So now it's to this consistency, still really gooey. My hands are nice and greased up. I've got all this powdered sugar here. And just start working the sugar into it. It's just like kneading pasta dough, pie dough, bread, whatever. It's all the same. Clay. And then once this stuff's all colored up and kneaded, then uh, just cover it with some shortening and some plastic wrap and stuff it in the fridge for an hour or two. I'll probably rush it in the freezer, like I do my beers. Graham cracker crumbs, sand. I guess I just start throwing them on. Oh, Sam and Chong's here, smoke break. So I just uh, rolled this sheet of fondant out that that you saw me make earlier. And then I etched a design in it real quick, and now I'm giving it a quick stain with some diluted uh, food color. So I'm starting to assemble this bad boy. I just put the first leaf on. Uh, I put the mat on early, a little earlier. It's been in the fridge chilling. Uh, now I get to start assembling this stuff. Happy third birthday, Bailey. Gum paste flowers. Go eat to decorate the walls. What time did it take you? Maybe eight hours total, maybe. Nice. Good work. Oh, you're not calling it the blanket. I get the blanket. Oh, my God. Not the one, guys. Do you want to show us some? No. 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 No.